Today I am showing you how to destroy your contradictory and negative thoughts that are getting in the way of your manifestations. My name is Kath Kyle and I help conscious creators and change makers to manifest success through my dream business coaching courses and club. So why do we need to get rid of our contradictory, obsessive and negative thoughts to be able to manifest what we want. The reason is because you might have done some kind of manifestation practice where you have sat and you visualized what you want. Say for example, you are trying to visualize getting more money. You want to make say $10,000 this month and you have manifested it. You've seen it in your mind and you are ready to receive that money. And then you are going through your day, you check your emails, you see that there are no sales notifications in there, and then your thoughts start to become negative. You start to think thoughts like, there's still no sales, there's still no sales, the sales are not coming in, this isn't working, I'm not manifesting, nothing's working here. And then you get a bill, then you get an invoice for a service that you forgot you even signed up for, some recurring membership. And then you think, oh no, there's another bill. I don't have enough money to pay for that. This is all going wrong. This business isn't working. I'm not cut out for this. I shouldn't be a business owner. And you keep having these thoughts every single time you check your email inbox. Have you ever been in this position where you've been trying to manifest something and then the world keeps showing you the opposite of what you are trying to manifest and you keep talking yourself out of it and your thoughts snowball downhill very, very quickly into it's just all gone wrong, nothing's ever going to manifest, I'm useless at everything. Have you ever been in that position? If you have, then you understand that your original visualization where you had visualized what you wanted, maybe it lasted say five minutes or maybe you thought the thought once, maybe you experienced being in that position of having received that 10 grand a month once. But then how many times throughout the day have you contradicted that thought by thinking the complete opposite of that? So this thought, you've thought it way more often than the original thought that you actually wanted to think that would have brought about the manifestation. So because you have thought the negative, the contradictory thought more times, way more times than the original positive manifestation that you wanted, that manifest manifesting thought, then that means that you are now overriding that original positive thought where you want to manifest your desires, you are overriding it with all the negative thoughts. So it is your negative thoughts, your contradictory thoughts that are actually going to manifest. And that's why you get stuck and you don't end up manifesting what you want. So this is why this is a problem. So a lot of people will tell you that the solution to the problem is to watch your thoughts as you go through the day. And you can definitely do this. It certainly does help to be aware of your thoughts because when you're aware of your thoughts, you become more conscious in the present moment and you are much more able to turn it around as you are actually thinking about it. But a lot of the time, especially when you are new to this and you are not used to observing your thoughts, it's almost impossible to turn those thoughts around because you're not even aware that you're actually having them in the moment. So when I tell you, oh, try not to react, try not to think these thoughts, it's almost impossible for you to do that because you are part of something called the automatic unfolding, which means that whatever your overriding belief system is, will mean that your actions and your thoughts will automatically unfold based on that original and dominating belief system. So if your dominating belief system is that you are broke and you've got no money and you're not making any money with your business and you're certainly not anywhere near the 10 grand that you want and that's your overriding belief because you keep seeing the evidence and you keep reinforcing it with your thoughts, then that is the belief system that is dominating 
all of your behaviors in the physical world. So you are acting on autopilot. It's not really possible at that moment for you to change your behavior and for you to react differently because you're part of the, of the automatic process that is unfolding naturally. You can't really stop it. So what do we do instead? How do we actually change this? How do we become more present? How do we change our thoughts so we can stop the thoughts, the contradictory thoughts that we don't want interfere with our manifestation? So this is how you do it. This is the technique. What you need to do is you need to override that existing belief system with a new belief system and this belief system needs to be bigger than the old belief system. So what you can do is you can take specific belief systems and you can also take broad belief systems and you can use these as a basis to manifest what you want. So this is how you do it. What you need to do first of all is be in a relaxed state you manifest much more easily from a relaxed state. There is no point in trying to manifest something when you are in a heightened state of awareness, when you are stressed out, when you're worrying about money and you're thinking it's just not working, it's just not working, you're really stressed, your heart is racing. This is not a good time to try and change your belief systems when you keep on thinking so many contradictory thoughts all the time. The best place to do it is when you are in a relaxed state to start with. So you are going to wait until you have some time on your own. A good time to do this is when you are winding down for bed and you are going to decide what you want to believe instead. So we are going to, first of all, think about the specific manifestation that we want and we are going to manifest something that we actually want rather than something that we don't want. So our existing belief system might be that I have no money, I'm always struggling for money, there's always more bills than money, etc. So we need to reverse that and think of a belief system that we actually want to believe instead. And here is a specific belief that you could start to believe. Money is just always there when I need it. It's just always there. Money is just always there when I need it. It just always appears when I need it. There just happens to always be money when I need it. It needs to sound natural. It needs to feel natural. You can call this an affirmation, but I like to call it a brain stamp because when you actually believe the manifestation, when it feels natural to you, it does start to actually form neural pathways in your brain which create new ways of being and new ways of believing automatically. Your brain actually physically changes when you say things that come naturally to you when you start to believe them. When you are in a relaxed state, it's much more easy for you to believe the things that you are telling your brain. So keep practicing every night, twice a day, when you wake up in the morning, when you are falling asleep, say these affirmations or brain stamps over and over again, say them in a way that comes naturally to you so that you can start to believe them. Repeat these over and over again. So this is the specific brain stamp, the specific belief that we want to believe is that money's just always there when I need it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a belief system that actually overrides our contradictory thoughts and eliminates them completely. So this is what we could do instead. We could create a belief system that says something like, I just always have so much certainty these days. I just have so much certainty. I'm just so certain. I'm just full of trust at the moment. I am just so faithful at the moment. I just have so much faith right now. What, however you would say it, however it would come naturally to you, Say this over and over in your mind as you are falling asleep and your brain will start to believe it. And make something like this your mantra so that it comes very, very quickly into your brain so that when you are having contradictory thoughts, it's much more likely to automatically pop into your brain because you've said it and you've repeated it that many times. So people think that affirmations are pointless and repetition is pointless, but it, it has been proven that the more times you repeat something, the more likely it is to 
go into your brain and for you to start believing it. So keep repeating this overriding belief system that I am just full of trust. I'm just so trusting all of the time. Keep repeating this over and over again. Write it in your journal, repeat it in your brain, say it out loud if you possibly can, and then this will start to become your new belief system. And when you become this trusting person, this certain person, that kind of person just doesn't have contradictory thoughts. You've completely eliminated the contradictory thoughts. They can't possibly exist, or maybe they'll pop in once in a blue moon because you are now a trusting person. You have changed who you are as a person. And when you change who you are as a person, everything in your life has to conform to that new belief. So this is why it's much more powerful to change who you are as a person, change your self-concept, rather than just working on these specific affirmations all the time, like, I want more money, I've received this money, I'm so grateful I've received this money, because who you are as a person is not a trusting person. It's not a faithful person. So you have to become the person who actually believes in your manifestations. Otherwise, your manifestations are never going to work. Another really good general overriding belief system that you could adopt could be, I just always get what I want, no matter what. No matter what happens, I always get what I want. I always have what I want. I always get what I want at some point. No matter what, I just always have what I want. And this is also a really good brain stamp to form into your brain because, again, this is this is showing that you are a trusting person, you are a faithful person, you are certain that you will always get what you want. So whenever things happen in your life. Say, for example, you got a really big invoice, a bill for something that you weren't expecting. If you believe that you always get what you want, then you know that there's just always going to be money at the end of the month to be able to pay for that bill because you always get what you want. And what you want is to be financially abundant. And as long as you've stated what you want and you believe you're the kind of person to get what you want, then you will always have what you want. So I encourage you to use these brain stamps to override your existing belief system and be the kind of person who just doesn't have contradictory thoughts. I have done this myself and it has worked incredibly well. I have trained myself to be a trusting person. I used to be the kind of person who just had doubts all the time and I would complain to people all the time that manifestation's just not working for me. I'm so stressed out. I ca just can't get to grips with this manifestation. I'm doing something wrong. But it is as simple as just trusting. Once you become a trusting person, it will all change for you. I guarantee it. You'll see manifestations everywhere. And if you want to take your manifestation practice deeper, then I encourage you to come and join my business manifestation club, where we are delving deeper into each of these topics, one different topic every month. We are doing a new challenge every single month. I've got heaps of bonuses. I also do coaching in there and really help you to get unstuck and to get your manifestations. This is specifically for business owners or people who have a focus on manifesting business or who have business ideas. And I also have a free gift, which is a guide on creating reverse memories. So if you want to take these affirmations deeper, then you can do that with my free guide to actually put them into the memories, you can create a reverse memory, which is building out these brain stamps into a bigger picture so that your brain really believes them. It's got something to actually remember and hold on to. So go and click on the link underneath this video and you can get access to my man business manifestation club and you can actually join for free. And you can actually, you can download my free guide underneath there as well. And I would love it if you would leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this concept. Have you ever worked on your self-concept? What have your results been? And if you like this video, like this video and I have plenty more videos that are going to help you to manifest success. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.